This is a GCE L level pure physics revision series. In this video, we will discuss multiple choice questions that you must know before you take your examination. The questions are related to one topic, which is chapter one, physical quantities, units and measurements part one. This video is brought to you by Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out important updates from us. Also, check out the description area to sign up to our signature course, GCE L Level Pure Physics Full Course, at unbelievable price. It's one time payment. You can study anytime you like, anywhere at your convenience. You can also easily monitor and track your study with Udemy's system. There is no recurring monthly tuition fees. No expensive intensive revision workshops. You don't have to rush to any tuition centers. You don't have to worry on missing any lessons. Sign up our signature online course at description area now. Without further ado, let's get started now. Chapter 1. Physical Quantities, Units and Measurements Part 1. Question 1. Which quantity is a base quantity? A speed. B pressure. C current. D force. The answer is C current. SI unit for current is ampere, symbol A. Base quantities are quantities that cannot be derived from other quantities. The rest of the answers are derived quantities. Derived quantities are quantities that are derived from other quantities. Speed is distance over time. Pressure is force over area. Force is mass multiplied by acceleration. Question 2. Which of the following is possible magnitude of the diameter of a human hair? A. 10 nanometers. B. 10 micrometers. C. 0.1 millimeters. D. 1.0 centimeters. The answer is C. 0.1 millimeters. You can convert the rest of the answers into the same unit to compare easily. 10 nanometers equals 1 times 10 to the power negative 5 millimeters. 10 micrometers equals 0.01 millimeters. 1.0 centimeters equals 10 millimeters. These magnitudes do not make sense for the diameter of a typical human hair. Question 3. Which of the following cannot be the magnitude or the size of the resultant force when a force of 5 newtons and a force of 12 newtons act on an object? A. 13 newtons. B. 7 newtons. C. 17 newtons. D. 20 newtons. The answer is D. 20 newtons. When the two forces act on an object, they may be in opposite direction, which gives minimum resultant force of 7 newtons. They may also be in the same direction, which give maximum resultant force of 17 newtons. The resultant force cannot be out of the range of 7 to 17 newtons. Question 4. Which pair contains two vector quantities? A. Speed and displacement. B. Weight and density. C. Acceleration and force. D. Work done in electric current. The answer is C. Acceleration and force. Speed, density, work done in electric current are scalar quantities. Displacement, weight, acceleration and force are vector quantities. Question 5. When two vector quantities are added together, they produce a resultant. Which of the following statements about the resultant is correct? A. It may be a scalar quantity. B. It may be zero. C. It is always in different direction of both the vector quantities. D. It is always in the same direction of any one of the vector quantities. The answer is B. It may be zero. When two quantities with the same magnitude and in opposite direction, the resultant will be zero. For answer A. Since both quantities are vectors, the resultant must be vector. For C. 
resultant does not always be in different direction of both the vector quantities. When both the vector quantities are either in the same direction or opposite directions, resultant will be in the same direction of any one of the vector quantities. For D, similar to C, this can happen only when both the vector quantities are either in the same direction or opposite directions. When they are not, the resultant will not be in the same direction of any one of the vector quantities. Question 6. A student has written down three equations as below. Pressure equals force over area. Density equals mass over volume. Acceleration equals velocity over time. How many scalar quantities are contained in the three equations? A. 3. B. 4. C. 5. D. 6. The answer is D. 6. The scalar quantities are pressure, area, density, mass, volume, and time. Question 7. 1.23 megameters plus 123 kilometers equals? A 1.353 kilometers. B. 1.353 megameters. C. 2.46 megameters. D. 2.46 kilometers. The answer is B. 1.353 megameters. 123 kilometers equals 0 0.123 megameters. 1.23 megameters plus 123 kilometers equals 1.23 megameters plus 0 0.123 megameters. Hence the answer is 1.353 megameters. Question 8. 30 kilometers per hour equals how much in meter per second? Is it A. 8.33 B. 500 C. 10 or D 20 The answer is A 8.33 30 kilometers equals 30,000 meters 1 hour equals 3,600 seconds Hence 30 kilometers per hour equals 30,000 meters over 3,600 seconds the answer is 8.33 meters per second. Question 9. Particle P moves at a speed of 200 meters per minute and particle Q moves at 6 meters per second. Which of the following statements is correct? A. Particle P moves faster than particle Q. B. Particle Q moves faster than particle P. C. Both particles move at the same speed. D particle Q will travel 300 kilometers in 12 hours. The answer is B particle Q moves faster than particle P. 200 meters per minute equals 200 meters divided by 60 seconds. The result is 3.33 meters per second. Hence particle Q moves faster than particle P distance traveled by particle Q in 12 hours is equal to 6 meters per second multiply by 12 hours multiply by 3600 seconds. The result is 259.2 kilometers. Question 10. What is the correct order of magnitude for the diameter of the sun and the diameter of a piece of wire? A. 1.4 gigameters and 1.4 micrometers. B. 1.4 megameters and 1.4 micrometers. C. 1.4 gigameters and 1.4 millimeters. D. 1.4 megameters and 1.4 millimeters. The answer is C. 1.4 gigameters and 1.4 millimeters. 1.4 gigameters equals 1.4 times 10 to the power of 9 meters. 1.4 megameters equals 1.4 times 10 to the power of 6 meters. 1.4 millimeters equals 1.4 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. 
1.4 micrometers equals 1.4 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters. Actual diameter of the sun is about 1.3927 gigameters. The diameter of a typical wire is in millimeter range. The length in micrometer range is too tiny for the diameter of a typical wire. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any thoughts, opinion or experience want to share? Write it down in the comment area. We'd love to hear from you. Also, do you like this video? Don't forget to like and share it to your friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.